right hello friends this is shanmuk i'm a sql db trainer in this video i'll show you how to import and export an object a table how to import and export a table from one server to another server okay so for that what we can do we can use import export wizard guys okay so you can use import export wizard so before doing that this is my uh, okay this is my source server this is my destination server so let me create a database a sample database here imagine this is your destination database okay import export demo okay i'm just creating a demo database right fine so uh, we'll we'll try to import one table here you don't see any tables right so i'll show you how to import a single table or multiple tables to this database okay so what we can do that in case if this is your source this is your destination anything you can go anywhere you can go okay on destination side you have to import if you are at source side you have to export you have to export the tables from this server to another server or you have to import the table from to this server from another server okay so on this you can either choose okay import right so where is that import okay dun, 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 dun. import okay import data or go to this source server right click tasks export data okay you are going to export data from this server to another server anything is fine okay only thing is source and destination servers are going to going to be different okay go to next so this is your data source okay what you can do for this drop down microsoft sql server oledb provider okay just select this option and this is your source server it will be selected automatically okay and don't click this drop down button it will try to search the servers in the whole network which will take a lot of time your 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 window will be struck okay it will be hanged and at the same time if there are less databases try to drop down okay, if you have more databases if you if you drop down this database list also it will be struck okay this is my source database in this database i have my table okay make sure if you know the database name directly you can type it next choose a destination right so destination is also a sql server okay again choose this provider and what is the destination server name right so if you see here now you can see okay i'm trying to okay grab it okay from the list of servers so it was almost all it was like struck guys so instead of that it is always better to give the instance name directly so that okay see for three servers itself it took this much time imagine in the organization how much time it will take okay if you see here what is the destination server uh, it's a SQL 2017 CUI, right? Uh, uh, else let me do one thing. Yes, SQL 2017 CUI. Okay, select this. Right. To which database I want to migrate? I mean, like import, right? So import export demo database. Okay, it was already present here. Next. Okay, copy data from one or more tables. Select it. Next. It will ask you what tables you want to. Okay. Um, export okay, or what tables you want to import select whatever tables you need i want this table i want this table or else i want this table whatever table you need select how many table. if you want only one table select only one table this is the source table name okay on destination side you can restore with the you can make an export with the same name or you can still have a chance to edit the destination table name you can edit the destination table name as well okay if you want if you don't want you can keep it as it is very important thing is sometimes on the destination side if tables are existed you have to select this edit mappings and you have to select this option drop and recreate the destination tables and all sometimes while importing while exporting or importing the tables you will get an enable identity insert error you will get okay for that you have to select this enable identity insert okay so right in case if the tables are already existed you have to use these two options if, if it is a fresh database if there are no such tables you can you can ignore it but if the tables are already existed you have to use this option if you use this option guys it is going to drop it and recreate it so be careful while doing this activity okay it, it will drop the existing tables guys okay make sure you have proper approvals for that okay okay next what it is saying the connection current state is closed okay column of information destination data could not be retrieved 
the date is the source column so not mapped correctly okay what is this let me check it uncheck let's uncheck this one right let me next go to next yes okay run immediately of course next and finish it okay now you can see uh, it will show you guys how many records are transferred and all for each table see here there are four tables right four tables it will show you the status right 1374 records transfers which is completed okay uh, it's it's going on right if you see here uh, in one table we have 1596 another table 16 records another table 290 records another table 3 records only right all the records are transferred then only you get success message then close it then go to your destination server refresh it once and expand it and just check the tables whether you got the tables or not if you want to check the data you can check the data okay so you can see i got thousand rows as a user select top thousand rows okay so you can see like this you will get the data also okay so this is how we can import and export guys okay thank you for watching the video